All right, a very good morning from Font Rameau. Um, it's actually quite late. It's um, it's nine o'clock. Normally, I would probably get up a lot earlier than this, but after travelling for basically two days without any sleep, I figured the best thing to do was get a good night's sleep, and that's what I did. As soon as my head hit the pillow, I was out for the count, um, and I've had about eight hours sleep. So at least I, I shouldn't be tired today with a bit of luck. So just having some breakfast. What have you got there? A jam sandwich, and he has a big, huge banana! Oh, I'm having a, a little banana. Normally, again, I'd have a smoothie, but we need to go to the supermarket to get some milk. So, pretty decent setup here. We've um, got, obviously, a cooker, there's a microwave, there's all the pots and pans, and you know, plenty of uh, things like plates and stuff. So, um, not short of... Um, basic amenities that we need. I brought plenty of stuff with me as well, my supplements, um, living accommodation. We've got a couple of bunks. And then if we go through to the Grand Tour, there you've got the bathroom, shower, toilet, everything you need. Uh, there's a couple of sofas there as well. So obviously, you know, you can fit another person sleeping there. You can fit another person sleeping there. And then there's plenty of cupboard space as well. So each person could have a cupboard. Um, and then uh, obviously there's a TV but the creme de la creme is obviously the view ah, we have a, a small balcony as well which might be able to get a bit of sunbathing done on um, but look at that view I mean that is what I'll be waking up to every morning and uh yeah, that is the ski resort, or one of the ski resorts. It's the bottom of the uh, bottom of the hill with the chairlifts there. So yeah, so the first thing I saw when I looked out the window this morning was a group of cyclists going past in their lycra. Uh, I can see some people cycling up. I don't know if you can make it out, but they're cycling up the mountain over there. Um, obviously this is at about 1750 meters elevation so what that means is your body is um, is restricted to the amount of oxygen it can use um, because the air pressure is different up here um, so that just makes you generate more red blood cells so uh, yeah get the added added, added benefit of um, of collecting some extra red, red blood cells while I'm on holiday, holiday here with my daughter. God, I'm tired, I can't even speak properly. So, something different, obviously, it's not going to be your traditional high altitude training camp because uh, I'm not going to the gym every day and you know, we're not doing like loads of physio stuff and things like that. It's just me and my daughter on holiday, but you know, we will get the benefit from it. <clears throat> I will get the benefit from it. We'll do plenty of training and we're going to go and see some sights, aren't we? There's some castles nearby. Um, there's a, there's a bowling alleys, swimming pools. There's all sorts of stuff, and everything's open. We went for some food yesterday. Nobody's social distancing. Um, there was a group of what twenty men on that table behind us, yeah. just in a big long line, which I find quite frustrating to be honest. But um, obviously, there's they they believe there's very little risk around here, so. Infection rate must have dropped significantly. I should have done a bit of research into that really before going anywhere, but um, yeah, just got to hope our best and uh, make sure that we don't contract a virus when we're here. But that could happen anywhere, right? You can pick that up in your own supermarket. So wash hands, stay safe, and uh, enjoy this time. So I think I've got a better idea of where we're going. Yesterday, 
I ended up going to a lake to find out that it was the wrong place. Um, and then when I got home, I then found out that it wasn't the wrong place. It's actually the right place. So I yeah, gave up and just went running in the forest somewhere. But this morning we're going to go up to the top of a plateau um, on one of the mountains there. And hopefully Mika can get out and have a run around while I just run around as well. So it doesn't have to be a buggy run, um, but we'll see. So uh, are you ready to go and find this plateau? Yep. Let's go. All right, so we just done 30 minutes easy up at this plateau. Um, I'm not sure exactly how you say it, I can't speak French, but it's called De La, De La Calme, De La Calme, can't pronounce it, and there's a, there's a storm coming, it's thunderstorms for most this week, so it's like clear weather and then, uh, hello, and then thunderstorms, but that's good, we can still get training done either side, because the thunderstorms are usually in the daytime, um, so, we had a little buggy run, but it was too difficult, wasn't it? So we then got the scooter. You enjoy the scooter? Yep. Yeah? And what are we doing now? Going back home for Daddy's meeting. My meeting, and what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Have some breakfast. Yes. Right, let's go. Shopping. What's that? What do you want? Some cherries? Yeah. Want those ones or those ones? The red ones or the dark ones? The red ones. Yeah? Pop them in then. That's it. Alright, let's continue. There it is, down the bottom. Other side. Other side. Other side. Yeah. The coronavirus mustn't have hit this region, despite the fact it's hit the whole of the world. No social distancing. People just doing what they like. Mika. Yeah. Pretty crazy, but there we go. All right, mate, don't kick off. We're off to the place where we went yesterday, the um, the big lake. Um, I got there yesterday and I, for some reason I thought it wasn't the right place. Um, so we came back, but it, I found out it is the right place. So uh, 
So I'm gonna get sorted and go. I don't know if you can see my eyes, but um, I'm more tired now than what I was yesterday with all that driving. It's obviously caught up on me, but uh, there's always time for a run. So I'm at 1500 meters now, still out of breath. Running down these trails. Alright mate, don't kick off. Easy boy. Girl. Easy girl. <laughs> boy, uh, not sure, but these little baby ones, if we run, they might follow us. Get past these and let's continue. Wow, what do you reckon, Amika? Awesome. Yeah, that is an amazing view, isn't it? Yep, awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, I reckon it'd take a few weeks to run up and down them hills. I know. All right, let's go and get some food. Yep. Let's go. So today we went up um, up to one of the peaks to have some real high altitude training. Um, excuse me. Um, we went to about 2,000 meters and I tried to run with a buggy up some small elevations, completely impossible. So um, put the buggy back in the car. I brought Amika scooter and there was a car park there. So we just literally did loops of the car park. Um, to most people that might be quite boring, but um, for me it, was, it wasn't it was too bad. It was about a 400 meter loop. Um, so I kind of did, did loops, but came back on myself to meet Amika on the scooter, let her go past me and then continue around again. So yeah, it's something different. Um, and then we dropped back down. Um, our apartment's at 1,750 meters, so I'm permanently around that um, sort of elevation, mostly around that elevation. Um, then we went out around the town, um, actually drove for a little bit um, to try and find some like flat trails to run on. I didn't find anything. Um, there's some plateaus lower down, so I'm gonna try and check those places out tomorrow. Um, but then we went to uh, Lake Matamale, Matamal, I don't know how you pronounce it. No, I'm not French. Um, but there's a, a eight and a half kilometer um, loop around there and it's really flat, it's about 20 meters elevation. So it was ideal. Um, that is at 1,500 meters, 1,550 meters. Um, and although it's lower elevation, it is absolutely nails to run around it. So especially pushing a buggy. Um, but yeah, it was really good. Um, had a great day. So we've just, uh, or I've just cooked up some food and um, we're about to sit down here now on the balcony. It's a little bit chilly out here, but we're gonna try and make the most of it. Uh, because how could you not with these views? So, till tomorrow, it's good night from Font Rumo.